Live from the edge of Austin. You know, you can see hell from here. It's gonna be a great night. Now, eat your asparagus and break out the piss cannons. Because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Snakes in the grass. Now wiggle that ass. You're Wiggle's a snake in the grass. grass. Now you're a snake in my face. You're coming at me with a mace. Ha! <laughs> you're a snake with a face. I have a face. <laughs> Hooray for snakes. Snakes, 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 Wait, in their gas? Oh, 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 I, oh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what are you, a cop? Why? Well, I just didn't know what you said, because we both I, yelled I, things I, at the same I time. Said, I said in the grass, like... I, oh, I, in the grass, yeah, like the I, last I repeated, time. repeated, yeah, but oh, you changed but it. Oh, but we changed then, it. But we're... Oh, you snake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, that man, always we did, the way. Uh, we, 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 we did a live event. We did. We had the first ever live event here on the property, and uh, I'm here to say I'm sorry. Uh, uh, just kidding. Whoa. No, it went great. <laughs> we, we go on an apology tour. Yeah, like we're like it was so bad. We're gonna go all across America to comedy clubs and That's do it. nothing. And but Brian and I are publicly. going on a listening tour, uh, <laughs> so we can understand what everybody's just how problems much we were. It up. Yeah. Uh, no, dude. Uh, to my absolute delight and surprise, uh, boy oh boy, did the did the team come together and convert that soundstage into a real theater. Mm -hmm. It was really magical. Yeah. Thank you to everybody who put so much time and effort in there. Uh, everybody, yeah. round of applause because yeah. it's mostly everybody that's here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Brett, Brett, you 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 got to attend uh, 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 just just to to be a spectator. I as, was as, a, as a civilian. Yes, I was a civilian. How'd it go? I was very happy. It was fun. There were people. We said hello. <laughs> I walked around. You're not making it sound like a really good yeah. My life was there. You're kind of making it sound like a silent auction. <laughs> people said stuff. I put Other in their bid for charity. Other people responded. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I got asked for donations. I got, I, 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 I got a ceramic ashtray <laughs> for $7. I sat dollars. quietly. It's I was promised a pot that I never got. <laughs> uh, which was a lot of fun you know in the end why'd no, you go andrew, to him why'd you go to him no, okay. because why <laughs> because he was there he was there andrew, he was there. andrew heaton was hilarious okay. andrew heaton uh, was hilarious the the the, the, the uh, jomo and the possum jomo, posse the, oh, uh, the, he made a song he he sang a song that actually made me tear up wait jomo did jomo did which, which one no, the, the no, swirly he, he, the swirly song oh yeah oh that was so good because yeah. because as i was watching it not to bring the room down but as i was Is listening this to be it child are you trauma? going to bring the room no, down no, no i'm I mean, not I mean, going to are you gonna because the room's right here and yes. i swear yes. to god if this right, ends no, it's lower it's a fucking back problem out and sing snakes in the grass no again. no yeah. it's gonna be fine no this is gonna be great now uh, it, is that it reminded me of my mom that I knew who I knew would have loved that song. And you used and to give her like, swirlies, and that's why it yeah. was so special. It, it, it was just the the punchline of the song was like, God, my mom. So not only have you song. ruined the pun the hidden punchline yeah. of the yeah. song, yeah. but yep. you've also revealed the fact that your mother was a sweet lady who would uh, have look, enjoyed the comedy. Right. Yeah, 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 gotcha. uh, look, yeah. Brett is not the masked magician. He ain't ruining nothing. No. It's, it's a very good song, regardless <laughs> yes, of whether or not you know song. the punchline. Yep. Yeah. But uh, it's about a mom, in case you were wondering. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it there is better. Up. No, uh, uh, Brett is a hundred percent right. Uh, 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 Jomo and the Boss of Bossy were amazing. Heaton was great, and really the star of the show, Matt Donnelly, who I had yeah. never seen do a a full His mind magic yeah. like set before. Hilarious and awesome. Uh, uh, do we know when the Great Night Diamond Club faithful might be able to see uh, the verbal agreement? Everybody said they'd be fine with Hold it on. eventually coming out, but it, but there, there there was a very sheepish price who seemed like he was just about to fucking say something. Uh oh, uh, we're looking I, at a couple weeks. Uh, we're at a couple weeks at, at least. We, uh, sorry, top you men. were gonna say top people, men. The, uh, top, <laughs> top men are working men. on it. Top men are on it. They want <laughs> we want to make sure that they get what top they need. Top men and, are on it. <laughs> Around the It'll clock. It'll be soon. Uh, Around uh, the clock. Also, uh, again, this is your opportunity to go subscribe uh, on Patreon to the Africa Babble podcast, yep. where you can hear us and. 
where uh, uh, by agreement, that's where it will show up first before it ever shows up in our feed. Gotcha. But some of the other stuff that was shot there, including Heaton yep. and Heaton. Jomo, uh, mm -hmm. both be, of those will, will show up on, here at some point yep. on our Patreon. So uh, uh, that is a great time to do that. But Bryce, what? is our first topic let's <laughs> see our first topic our first topic is my stupid fridge <laughs> i i feel like i got a preview of this set <laughs> before before the show many of you might remember the time that i went to uh, the lows on brody lane <laughs> <laughs> so many this people this is gonna get very very <laughs> very local. specific this is uh, and I paid for because, a fridge they, in they cash. For this. I think oh, they remember right. the yeah, second sentence. I paid sentence. for the fridge in cash. Right, right. cold hard cash. Don't ask why. <laughs> thank, thank you, Chris. Uh, <laughs> and so they're like, "Oh, this fridge is gonna take a while." I'm like, "Fucking whatever." Right. I just paid for this fridge in cash, wearing a shirt that said until I didn't realize until the end, cocaine, cocaine and, and rhinestones. rhinestones. So yeah. I was literally wearing a shirt that said, <laughs> said cocaine, cocaine on it, yeah. paying for a fridge and cash. Cold, cold hard cash, yeah. Uh, so all of a sudden we get a, a, a text message uh, on Friday. Yeah. And there it's like, oh, we're delivering your fridge on Saturday. That's great news. Fantastic. Amazing. Right? Great. I mean, do I they, have a, do they have a time sketched out? Or they Indeed do that they do. Thing? It's going to okay. be somewhere between 10 and two. Oh, that's a, a, ten, a ten and two. That's a that's prime time, man. Driving, like, you like driving. I'm driving. You're gonna yeah. be sitting there watching Safely. NFL. Safely, Safely right? driving. Yeah. Safely driving. Uh, uh, yes, Brian. I'm gonna be watching NFL football between ten and two on Saturday. Okay, it's <laughs> not. I know it doesn't start until. Uh, doesn't start until when? <laughs> two. Two. That's right. On Saturday. Uh, Central Time. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Moving on. <laughs> uh, fucking, you want to play pickleball? No, we're not. We're not. <laughs> fucking, uh, I'm gonna we're play, moving on. I'm playing we're moving on. Fucking master, we're moving on. Come we're at moving me. Come on. At me. We're moving on. So I get a text message. <laughs> call it. Call it soccer. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> asshole. We're getting to that. We're getting to that. <laughs> You fucking insecure fucker. You fucking, you fuck up one and immediately you bury me. I'm, I'm just a snake in you the grass. Fuck, you are a snake in the snake grass. In the grass. Uh, That's why you sang the song. Snake, you were warning snake, me. Snake, snake. <laughs> I, I got a text corner. message. And yeah. The text message yeah. says that they're going to deliver my fridge within the next eight minutes. Oh, dear. What? Starting at Eight o'clock in the morning. What? Fucking you just won the lottery, motherfucker. That's what we figure, right? We're yeah. already up. Now, the difference between getting like a washer and dryer in a fridge is that you have a bunch of things that are in your fridge. Right. So if you're going to get a new fridge, you got to take all the shit out of your fridge because you got to put it in the new fridge. Wait, uh, those don't apply to washers and dryers? You leave all your clothes in there when you move them? No, presumably <laughs> you don't. <laughs> presumably you're removing shit out of washers so, and so, dryers so, with so a greater frequency the than you move you is, things the in your fridge. Is. How much <laughs> shit do you leave in your washer and dryer? In the grass. God damn it. <sighs> <laughs> My mother warned me. <laughs> <laughs> so we get the the thing. It's gonna be there in eight minutes. We're scrambling. We're taking all the shit out. We're filling up our like uh, uh, ice chest stuff, like so we can keep all the like frozen stuff frozen. Right. Eight minutes goes by. Half hour goes by. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Hour goes by. Whoa. Two hours go by. Now it didn't say eight hours, did it? Did not say eight hours, but. It did say originally it was from 10 to 2. So, like, I mean, after surely two hours after 8 o'clock when they said they were going to deliver it, eh, fine. I swear to God, how great would this story be if around 6 p.m. Lowe's sent you a text that just said, you got pranked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we got your ass. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy your warm, your warm <laughs> ass <to> less pizzas. <laughs> uh, uh. So long story short, <laughs> they didn't fucking deliver my goddamn fridge. And then we we, we go and we call, and and uh, Ashley's on the phone for like hours because they're bouncing around. Because of course it's fucking low, so nobody knows what anybody's doing. Yeah. And they're like, oh yeah, no, it's a third party thing. Uh, uh, turns out that uh, the third party uh, had your fridge, and then there wasn't enough room on the truck. And then, and then they followed up with the text that said, Our We'll name be is there Lowe's, in eight minutes. <laughs> but we're really high. Yeah. Exactly. It was the fucking worst. I was so fucking angry, and I just really wanted to yell about it. 
And I've done that here. This episode brought to you by Lowe's. Lowe's. They're fantastic refrigerators. Arrive on time, guaranteed, or get fucked. Or they get yelled <laughs> about by our, our, the new podcast, Gerbs and the Snake in the Grass. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, what's our next topic? Face down, back up. Do you know whose story this is? This is all of ours. So we are all going to talk about Facebook going down and coming oh. back. <laughs> then I'll go first. Is this too much wordplay? Should we have less wordplay in the no, topic? No, no, no. It's great. It's it was great. worth it. It was worth it. Uh, it was worth it. Then in this case, uh, uh, in the great case of uh I, I will go first. Face I have... down, back up is fucking really good. <laughs> okay, thank you. It's really good. I'll go first because I have the least to say. All I know is that there was one day that suddenly Twitter got really interesting, and then it went away. It was really nice. Who was really on Twitter that isn't always yelling on Twitter? Uh, Tom Merritt. Tom Merritt <laughs> joined on, on uh, like, like everybody made a game of, like, Facebook RN and, and just all the gifts of people freaking out and running around. Mm-hmm. It, was, it, was a, it was maybe the happiest 20 minutes I've spent on Twitter in a long time. Uh, I did find out uh, through friends that it was legit that actual Facebook employees couldn't get into Facebook's campus Oh, because, because everything their, runs their, through their, their security servers. system was down. Uh, like, because like, all their the key cards, were out. Yeah, everything. key cards and shit like that. Friend of the show, Darren Kitchen, explained it thusly. Like, the whole reason that you uh, run everything through your own servers is so that nobody can mess with you and lock you out of your own building. Yeah. But then Oops. somebody Oops. done goofed and... Uh, they locked themselves out of the car. Of, of everything. Of everything. Of, everything. of every car. God, that's so sad. Uh, my wife was very confused. Because I, I think I was coming back from here, and all of a sudden I get a text that says, do you see this? <laughs> and I'm driving, so I don't answer immediately. And so I'm but like, you do, you do, you're like, hold on. Did you just fire your piss cannon on, on a couple of people walking on the side of the road? <laughs> Sorry. Now what? Snake of the <laughs> so I, uh, I, she's like, like, do you read this? And I'm like, I, I finally answer her back. And I'm like, yes, I do. And she's like, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's talking to the man in the vents. Yeah. And I'm like, yes, I'm reading the text message that you're sending me. And she's like, oh, <laughs> I think it's a WhatsApp thing. <laughs> she was trying to talk to her friend and it wasn't going through. And so she was responding to me because I didn't she respond thought maybe to her, her immediately. Phone was not connecting. It was a phone Got or something it. else or whatever. So she was very, very uh, uh, confused. Bryce, did you have any problems with, yeah, with, did, with, did with, with, with the big face for on Mafia Wars? <laughs> no, I didn't really have. I was. Yeah, I was. I was pretty. I, mean, I, I was here doing the show I, I, all day those yesterday. Those plants are really fucked now. The zombies are on top. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. Uh, we were here recording all day. So by the time I got home, it was all done, I believe. Uh, so and I'm not on Facebook also so. or Brett. instagram or whatsapp like you're you're not like not under any of the umbrella of uh, sometimes i use instagram but not enough where i even noticed that it was down uh right. for myself here's, I don't the, here's the worst part is even if you don't use facebook uh every site you visit has a facebook pixel in it so they could target you later for ads mm-hmm. so it's like oh my god for one whole day they didn't get that data oh yeah no you wouldn't believe the sites i went to <laughs> i think i think we're seeing an image an artist uh <laughs> rendering of what brian did uh, right behind you on that TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bukkake of, of joy. <laughs> <laughs> although the funniest thing i did see on twitter was uh uh you know everybody's making fun of this yeah but there's a lot of people who were playing oculus games and Ooh. now they are stuck in VR, and if they die there, they <laughs> die in real life. <laughs> yep. That motherfucker Rat King ain't gonna kill himself. That's he all ain't. I'm saying. Bryce, next topic. Drones. 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 So, so th- this is a curious setup because uh, this is a Bryce story, right? Uh, Bryce came. I up- think this is a video, right? It's, yes. But 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 in our pre-show meeting. Mm. Oh yeah. What I said was, do you know the drone video? If you do, don't say anything. Mm. If you don't, don't say anything. I actually think everything that's said at the pre-show meeting should be totally sacred. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Wait, but this is nobody a funny should. Yeah, that's fine. But There's let's, no let's, pre-show let's meeting. Let's show the video. <laughs> <I just> got- <laughs> let's not mention anything that was said during the pre-show meeting. 
<laughs> Let's just do that. Let's just Can we all agree on that? Sure. Forever? Sure. 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 Especially for any other topic that happens during this segment. <laughs> sure. Cool. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so there was a, uh, a, a drone light show in, um, uh, I, I, I don't know where, but in, in China. And uh, this was some of the video that came out. So uh, they, they were having it over, over this kind of urban populated space. It straight up looks like a UFO invasion. And the drones got messed with, and then they landed very quickly and fast on the ground. Uh, oh wait, but there's a lot of people. And oh there my are, god! There so was, it's just raining drones? It was raining drones. <laughs> oh my it's god! It's raining drones yeah. from uh, out of the sky. You, you, drones. You know, the, the only thing I can, the only thing I can think of is as God is my witness. I thought gl- drones could fly. <laughs> <laughs> WKRP in Cincinnati for all of you. That's a uh, wow. That's a. Yeah. Uh, uh, I thought I was old. Back. I yeah. like I like having somebody just ever so slightly older than me yeah. on the show. Yeah, but but somebody's really pumped about it. Yes, <laughs> somebody's <laughs> laughing really hard. Wait, oh no, this is when. Oh god damn it, I do get the joke because this is when he threw the goddamn turkey. Yes, fuck. yeah. <laughs> damn, I'm old. We're both <laughs> old. Hey, fuck you, youngsters. You you, you hippies. What? With your jazz music on and my your, lawn. That's your, where I keep my snakes. And fuck your jazz you. cigarettes. <laughs> 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 All right, Bryce. Uh, uh, yeah, no, that's it. That's rounds. Next topic. Red light. Red light. So I learned something about myself today. What's that? Which is I, I didn't know this before, but it seems that I get into great night mode about 40 minutes before we start doing great. So you're night. normally not. Like for, for people who are just listening to the show and, and know you from this show exclusively, like I'm not. This normally, is not like you. That you don't. You're not like this all the time. Uh, good God, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not constantly foul mouth messing up other people's bits, interrupting conversations, sure. and calling myself a snake. The, in the snake grass. in the grass. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to work on like a hiss, like just so you can hiss, like just so. Uh, listen, uh, uh, you must you slither before you walk. <laughs> but, but, but I think and now, just from here on out, for, for the rest of tonight, if you ever snake in the grass, somebody, you can just go, tss. Uh, yeah, but listen, Justin, <laughs> I don't have time to do well this. Bit. Well Look bad. at him pleasant. Look <laughs> at him pleasant. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Bonnie and I both leave the house at the same time, uh, and I believe we're both headed here, but I'm going by way of Chick-fil-A. She's going by way of just coming straight here. Uh, the, she's in the, the big blue truck from 1990s, um, yep. and, uh, uh, which does not have AC, so she, she has to roll down the, the windows. Both of us miss the green light to leave our neighborhood, and so we're just there side by side. And so she leans over for comfort purposes and rolls down her window, because she needs the air for Because it's 90 yeah. degrees, right? And and so I roll down my window, and I'm like, hey, baby, hey, baby, baby. And then uh, she's wearing sunglasses, and she kind of smiles and looks forward. I was like, you want to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes, pause, hey. pause, pause. <laughs> let it sit. <laughs> let it sit. <laughs> We're going to let it sit for a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. We're just going to let it sit. Yeah. As I paint this picture, because what you might what you might think is that Brian says this in any kind of loud area. And yes, indeed, they are on a fairly loud street. But this is a very residential region. So, like... And also, might I say, a bit echoey. Like, <laughs> yeah. like there, there, there might be the right combination of angles and to acoustics. have somebody down on Sixth Street go like, "What?" <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I start, and then I start to, <laughs> I see her <laughs> visibly react, and I act like she doesn't know what I mean. I say, "Fuck! You want to have sex, lady? <laughs> You're very attractive." <laughs> <laughs> and, and she's like uh, uh, again more uncomfortable uh and you don't like, you don't say well I, so i explained i was like i would like to take off all of my clothes and rub our naked bodies all over <laughs> each other that seems like that would be a very good time i like your boobs <laughs> <laughs> and so at this point body looks back and she says ryan there are people behind us and I turn and I look back, and sure enough, she's right. There are six cars waiting at the <laughs> light behind us. And I turn to Bonnie and say, I'm cool. They can watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
nothing that can get better than that. Surprise. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. <laughs> Apartment list. Don't. All right. I have no idea whether or not this is going to be good or not. It's Listos. I just talked Listos. about those hitting on my wife. Uh, that's a good joke. Okay. That, 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 is, that is a good thing. Uh, 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 this, I have no idea. So we're going to go very local here. Okay. I'm new to town. Uh, you know, we get that complaint a lot. It's like, you guys are always talking about, you know, global things. <laughs> exactly. Please talk about exactly. local. You're things. always talking about, like, you know, <laughs> the Pacific pivot of yeah. uh, global international mm -hmm. relations. Yeah. You're not talking about local things right. here in Austin, Texas. So uh, Bryce and I actually went to a Austin FC game on Saturday. Sorry, Austin FC. What does the FC stand for? I thought we had an agreement. <laughs> Thought oh, we had an agreement. Oh, 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 sorry. Thought we had an agreement that the pre-show is sacred. Uh, I I forgot that was spoken of during the pre-show. Uh, oh, sorry, no, not the pre-show. The the the, the meeting. The pre-show yeah. meeting. Yeah. yeah. If you don't is mind, sacred. I see a gopher over here. I'm just gonna swallow it real quick. <laughs> and then uh, I'm You're saying, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you know? Sorry, <laughs> snake <laughs> in the grass. Sorry, son of a bitch. <laughs> Where I was pitching this segment and I was doing the setup that I literally just did right now, but I unironically said, <laughs> Bryce and I went to see a football game. Hey, what? <laughs> no, what? Hey. I've, watched, I've watched enough what Ted Lasso that that is where my brain is at. I knew exactly what you meant. I'm, I'm with you on this. And that's why you immediately smiled like a butcher's dog <laughs> and said that has to be its own segment at the beginning of the show. I, uh, uh, man, you know, I don't remember. Also, can we make that like a sacred space that we don't talk about? <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> So uh, uh, this is going to be local, but I'm going to try and set it up. Uh, uh, there is a part of Austin called the Domain. Yeah. The Domain is effectively a large mall meat strip mall. Right. It's the place where you would find a cheesecake factory. It's it's vaguely Brooklyn-ish, uh, no. but much more expensive. No, not no? Brooklyn-ish. Okay, no. wait, you can live there and you no. can get a cheesecake. Yes. That's all I know. It's, it's, it's a, 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 a live... And let uh, <laughs> it, a, a live shop combo if, area. If you've ever wanted to live in an open air mall, yes, that's if what the domain wanted, is. Like if you'd want to live is in that a place not how with. Is? Have you ever <laughs> been to Brooklyn? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you what ask, you Justin? Imagine Brooklyn is. I mean, is I, this I, what you imagine the notorious BOG? <laughs> BOG. <laughs> BOG. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die yeah. now. My like, man's gonna, gonna go die. We got him. I'm gonna go die. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. I mean, I listened to Paul's boutique. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill oh, myself no. tonight. Oh. Boggy, boggy, boggy. Can't you see? <laughs> Sometimes your swamps just hypnotize me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you were talking about the door. <laughs> this has all been downhill since you. <laughs> you snake in the grass. <laughs> so <laughs> the 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 stadium. I'm wrecked now. I can't even focus. The stadium is right across the street from this open air mall called the Domain. And as we're walking down. We look and see that there are apartments there. Right. So people can live there. Yeah. And I, we, it became a conversation between me, uh, Bryce, and Ben Franklin, who came with us and actually provided the tickets, uh, how much those apartments would cost. So at the very beginning of this bargain, before they even built the soccer stadium, you would just be living in an open air mall with anywhere between two and six cheesecake factories. Right. Yes. Uh, and an Apple store. And an Apple store. And like store. an even Marcus. Mm -hmm. And a Microsoft store <laughs> that has a cheesecake factory in it. <laughs> yes. Has a pop-up cheesecake factory. Yes. Right. Uh, now they have the soccer stadium across. So now maybe if you're really into Major League Soccer and you are willing to live in an open-air mall, right. that is the place for you. I was curious what you thought that apartment was went for per month oh my god uh so i'm gonna guess they're pretty small let's say a thousand uh nine hundred square feet or so uh 
Let's say I mean, for the numbers that, that we've got, let's say about 800 square feet. Yeah. Okay. So 800 square feet. 800. Man, it's got to be expensive. What? Because uh, uh, I used to live in that area. Uh, uh, when uh, when uh, I lived also, in that for area. the record, for people who are not local, this is not close to downtown. Not at all. No. It's its own yeah. village. Yeah. Way. But it's all high end shops. Yeah. It's, high end shop. Right. <clears throat> uh, when I lived uh, north of there, it was $1,200 a month for a comparable size apartment. So I will I will wildly inflate it and say 15 to 1600. Mm. All right, fuck you. Who's, Justin, who's snorting? Who's <laughs> snorting? Right? It's not me. Darren, Darren, who, by the way, a shop for apartments the, the most recently out of all of us, <laughs> is snorting. Uh, uh, the, the going rate that we were thinking while we were just walking was 2K and up. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to go 21K. Oh, so you 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 don't know? We don't or, know. Or, no, 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 no. We're gonna find out. Two thousand one hundred, by the way. Two thousand one hundred thousand dollars. Two thousand one hundred. Okay. Yeah, that would be remarkable. This is a great time. Yes. <laughs> it's a great time for me. I'm very fragile. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very. I'm very. Let me, let me coil up next to you and give That's you a big fine. old hug. I'm just, gonna I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Put on my BOG playlist. And <laughs> BOG, I was gonna say BOG. he's not good with bog numbers. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Uh, so it, Bryce, that's that's terrible of you to do. Yeah, um, <laughs> let's not get swamped down. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yay! All right, we're all in on it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, everyone's very excited that I put on my own shame as a cloak and ran around. <laughs> yeah, dog, you're doing comedy. Um, what I found for an eight, so I found two. Uh, y your answers are pretty close. I found a, a 516 square foot, one bedroom <laughs> wow. for $1,900 a month. Jesus! Jesus. And for the record, we've actually found out by Waffle Officus in the chat that there is not a Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> so if you were thinking that you were going there for the Cheesecake Factory, don't. Well, as long That's as we're confessing, I have been to Brooklyn. <laughs> 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 I only said no for the comedy timing. There. <laughs> Boy, that was a comedy killer. <laughs> Bryce, what else we got? And that's it. That's, that's it. it. Patreon.com slash great night. <sighs> got it right. Uh, is uh, the place that you go if you want to support this show. Again, a lot of really cool extras coming very, very soon, including uh, a video from that big live show that we did. Yeah. And three, three different acts will be showing up in the feed. And of course we do. Uh, we're, get, we're getting really good on the bonus content. Almost a full hour of extra stuff that, that we did. Boy, that day on Thursday where we just all gathered around the table and just took turns passing them on. Like, now it's your podcast. Yeah. Now it's your podcast. No, uh, we, we, did, we did some really good stuff. And yeah, the last one had the full, the full crew. It had Heaton me you donnelly and bryce so like it was it oh was i was there awesome <laughs> yeah, all that's right. a reference every all the patrons are gonna all, get it. all the patrons get it uh it is the best deal that you can find when it comes to this program patreon.com slash great night man seems to me like the only way this could get better is if we play an insane game and have a special celebrity guest on uh uh brian i think that you're right <laughs> uh, uh, okay, close your eyes and clap your hands and say, I wish Rooster Teeth's Chris D uh, Damaris, Damaris to join Damaris us. Damaris join us. Yay! Yay! Come on up, come on up. Yeah, here, we'll, we'll grab, we'll grab a mic for you. Is. On camera. Yeah. Thank you very much. Is this correct, Mike? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, no, this works. Uh, Chris, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, for those who are uninitiated, because not everybody listens to the pre-show of the Green Room, although they should, uh, 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 what's the elevator pitch on, on what you are best known for? Uh, well, I work at Rooster Teeth making comedy content. I've done everything from like scripted to unscripted and also podcasts like Good Morning from Hell, which is a comedy show that takes place in hell where I'm dead and we interview everyone in hell. Um, uh, with uh, Satan's little brother Clayton, uh, and I also got like a D and D uh, podcast called Tales from Stinky Dragon, which is great. And then also a uh, if you want to be sad and hear about uh, pl plane disasters, you can oh. always listen to Black Box oh, Down. Uh, uh, re real quick, can we yeah. tease, tease apart that that left turn that you gave us. Like, what about everything else you're doing? Cause, they said because Chris, it, 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 it's a real A A B. Uh -huh. You know, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Like, well, you know, here are these high concept comedy things, and then also. Actual tragedy from the sky. <laughs> I don't know, no, I mean, I have a, uh, a friend of mine who is super into aviation, 
and wanted to do it's basically like a true crime, you know, like sure, yeah, a, a, yeah. figuring out why oh, no, plane I, I, crashes. I, I, it sounds like a yeah. very, very good show for folks and, who like that genre. And I was like, he told me about it. I was like, that's a cool idea for a podcast. That's great. I mean, and I know nothing about planes. I'll ask questions. Yeah. And listen. Do, do, uh, how many episodes have you done so far? Of, uh, of, of of the plane crash extravaganza that's what you call it right that's not the, that's the, yeah that was the working title okay um, <laughs> uh I th- probably around 50 or 60 i think okay so so uh the the real question i'm leading up to is uh have you have you covered like different eras because uh man planes are a lot safer today than oh, they yeah, used yeah. to be and that's yeah. the kind of reoccurring thing is like the end of each uh episode we talk about like how that incident made this the aviation industry better how and safer many but we've of gone them. back from like like early planes to like, but mostly from like probably 60s to current day. Uh, how many of them are just straight up like, I'm out, I'm taking you with me? Not, well, we, most of them we try and cover like different stuff. Uh, and there's some, there's planes that have crashed because they couldn't figure out, like a light bulb went out and they're like so obsessed with figure out what, why is this light, what, this light? And they, they just and, straight and, up weren't and, and paying attention. Fuel. Oh so my like God! That, they were like, "What? What's the deal with this light bulb?" And then they're like, the plane, <laughs> "They crashed because the light bulb went out." I, 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 okay, all I want to do is light. is is. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess I could listen to the podcast if I <laughs> wanted to explore right. this further. Also, curious decision for us to go with that one to talk about the boat. <laughs> 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 like, it's the most. Uh, it's uh, hey man, I'm a snake in the ground. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> hey. uh, uh, yeah, uh, but but uh, it, it it's it's an insane topic. Yeah, if you like you know sad stuff. <laughs> hey. Go, go That's your podcast. On. Uh, well, I'll tell you what's not sad is our game. Uh, what are we playing today, Bryce? Hello, everybody. We are back with one of our favorites. Uh, say it with me. News six. Oh, the news that six. Yeah, finally. So I was waiting to see when that news was going to get six. Yeah, it's the news that we six. Yeah, and we and we six it. Yeah. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome back to News Six. This is one of our favorite games. I'm going to read you six news items from the day. You're going to pick a topic. Uh, you're going to learn a thing or two, and you're going to see if you can answer an almost related trivia question. It's <laughs> News Six. The news that six. Chris, since you're our guest today, uh, uh, a question uh, just to put oh, it out there. Yeah. Can we call it the news that six? Son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> before we get started, Brett, like what's our uh, what's our consequence tonight? Well, fellas, uh, the uh, we're gonna rip off uh, Auntie Donna, mm-hmm. and uh, the loser will have the joy of uh, of singing. Uh, we didn't start the fire, but as a recap of the show, yeah, replace all the words. <laughs> Recap the show. So yeah, for, we for, didn't start the fire. For folks who, who don't listen to the Great Auntie Donna podcast, uh, uh, they went through a phase where they would end every show with a recap of what that show was about to the tune, the karaoke tune of "We Didn't Start the Fire." So, I'm just saying, good luck, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't rhyme when there's like. I'm uh, writing it. Uh, <laughs> look, if, yeah, if, it. If, if you're scared, I can't remember the show as we're doing it. <laughs> Again, good luck, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got six topics for, here for you. We've got Wanna Smash, a podcaster never forgets, I didn't get that, About Face, Too Slick, and Please Don't Assassinate Me. Chris, since you're our guest, we're going to have you pick a topic. Uh, uh, pick, pick one of these six topics, please. That last one could be a new podcast for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with Wanna Smash. I'm going to go with Wanna Smash. All right, there we go. All right, let's do that. Did somebody tell you to pick up? I, I, was, I was like, I hope, it's, it, a, I hope right? it's all. Yeah, yeah. Smash. Somebody. That's right. All right, this is from, uh, from The Verge. Uh, Nintendo. Uh, you got it. Nintendo, during a live stream event today, announced that Sora from Kingdom Hearts will join the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate roster as the 82nd playable character. Uh, not including some of the du- the duplicates and stuff. This wraps up almost three full years of post-release development for the cross-franchise fighting game. Question. Name any playable character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, <laughs> we are looking for the names of characters who are in this video game. Playable characters, not costumes, uh, not uh, uh, the Mii fighters and stuff like that. Uh, but for we're looking for names of characters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You're going to keep, you're going to go in round giving me a name of a character. If you until can't, somebody doesn't get one, one. Oh, right? Damn it. Okay. Yeah. Until right. only one person is left. So uh, we'll start with you, Chris. Uh, can you name someone from Super Smash Brothers Ultimate? Mario. Mario is correct. 
Uh, Brian. Luigi. Luigi is the beautiful boy of Mario's. Beautiful boy. (laughs) That is Uh, correct, Justin. Kirby. Kirby is correct. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is correct. Bowser. Bowser is correct. Justin. Mm, It's Metroid, right? Like it's it's that's the game. Samus from Metroid. Samus from Metroid is yeah. correct. Oh. Chris. Uh, Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon's correct. Falcon punch. Brian. Toadstool. Toad. Toadstool. No toadstool. Oh, oh shit! My friend, because I ate her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we still have two competitors here. We're gonna go on to Justin. Justin, can you name? Uh, Ness from Earthbound. Ness is correct, Chris. Lucas. Uh, Lucas is correct. Also from Earth. Also this from Earth this reservoir is running dry. <laughs> I'll <laughs> let you know. Uh, uh, Princess Peach. Peach is correct, Chris. Uh, Ice Climbers. Ice Climbers is correct, Justin. The Wii Sports guy. <laughs> <laughs> I will accept we fit trainer. <laughs> um, <laughs> you got the word we in there, so. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 Fox. Fox is correct. Yeah. Star Fox? Oh, uh, yeah. Wario? Wario is correct. Ooh. Oh, this is getting good. Has, has someone said Yoshi yet? No. Okay, Yoshi. Hey, Yoshi is, of course, correct. Yeah, Yoshi. Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu is correct. Uh, it's longer going longer than I thought this round would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the round when you add somebody who actually knows some shit. Oh, impressive. Uh, 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 I play this game a lot. You got this. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Uh, <laughs> Five seconds. Five, four, mm. Three. Oh, 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 uh, the duck hunt dog. Duck hunt dog is correct. I want to wow. get the I want to get the name right on that, but uh, but yes, the duck hunt dog. Yeah, oh, just duck hunt. Okay, there we go, Justin. Oh Christ on a cracker. That's not my guess. That's not, <laughs> not my guess. Be a good character. Yeah, that would be amazing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like a. There's a new challenger <laughs> perform <laughs> miracle <laughs> by my father's hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin. Your toast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did I cross you up? Uh, <laughs> oh God. Uh, Why are you wasting thoughts? I don't know. <laughs> uh, 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 I, I don't know. I, I, I reside. I reside. All Ooh. right, there we go. That's a point for Chris. Chris. Congratulations. Oh, Link. 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 Oh shit. Yeah, I was thinking about Link earlier. Uh, we also could have <laughs> like not during the game, just like in my I life. I didn't think about Link all the time. Just sort of a dreamy thing. I or just yeah, you're driving around with your piss cannon. No, I was, like, just, I was just looking at a Link. pot and I'm like, man, I should just throw that shit. Were you at Lowe's? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like, I'm like, I want my goddamn fridge. Yeah, I'm gonna like, smash stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, if I can't get a fridge, at least I can pull a few rupees out of this hoe. <laughs> Other characters we would have accepted included Solid Snake, Kazuya Mishima, Steve from Minecraft, uh, Simon Belmont, Pac-Man. They put a lot of fools in this game. There we go. That's a <laughs> point. One of them had the name Snake. Solid Snake, yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, uh, we're going to move on to Brian. Brian, we've got five more topics here. Ready, ready. Uh, you know what? I feel like one of these is calling out directly to me personally, and it's I didn't get that. All right, I didn't get that here <laughs> on uh, News 6. And this is, of course, the news that sex. Oh. Oh. I just want one more six. <laughs> well, <that's, laughs> yeah, come on. The news, like, news seven is not accepted in this market. Let's, let's keep it on brand for the Hell <laughs> podcast. Uh, I didn't get that. On Monday, uh, Monday celebrated the 10th anniversary of the reveal of Siri and the iPhone 4S. In the time since, many of these virtual assistants have risen to popularity and they seem to be getting better. 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 Question. 
Siri's name backwards is Iris, which, among other things, shares the name of a Greek goddess. A guessing in round, so we'll start with Brian. What is Iris the Greek goddess of? The closest answer, as determined by our friend Science, will win the point. Brian, I'm going to start with you. Sleep. He's going to say sleep, the goddess of sleep. All right. Justin. Uh, well, since Lawrence Fishburne didn't play Iris, I know that <laughs> shit ain't right. <laughs> uh, uh, nature. He's going to say nature. All right. Chris, what do you think? The goddess Iris. Iris. Do you know uh, Greek? Do you know Greek gods or goddesses much? I mean, I know a couple of them, but, you know, not. Not it's been a while since we hung out. Yeah, right. so, yeah, yeah. I mean, I may have met one yeah, at a yeah, party. Yeah, yeah, right out loud. I mean, you say but hi. But it was one of the fun yeah, ones. I mean, you know how it is. You're, take, you're taking a leak, and, yeah. and suddenly Hephaestus yeah. has some yeah. blow. It's like, what yeah. are you going to say? No, exactly. come on. Dionysus grabs your <laughs> yeah. ass, and you're yeah. like, you. Dionysus. Yeah. I mean, we party, but like, I don't remember the god of Iris. It might have been like eyeball or something. I don't know. That is a something good one. With eyes. Eyes. Eyeballs. God of eyeballs. Is that a. So, so at this mythical party <laughs> well i mean there's Everybody gotta be some totally... shitty gods that like yeah eyeballs sorry you know what, hey, did that, anybody that, bring that, the eyeballs that's the problem the eyeballs? What are, yeah because you're out? doing some dirt next thing you know iris is in the room and you're like oh you fucking better not yeah. she shows up at halloween with a bunch of peeled grapes is like put your hands in there. <laughs> yeah. put your hands in me <laughs> there's like five gods of war and then like an eyeball yeah <laughs> That's how that works. Uh, all right. So uh, uh, final answer, eyeball? Eyeball. Yes. Yeah. All right. We're going to have to give this one to science. No one got the exact right answer here. Uh, Iris, uh, who is the daughter of Thomas and Electra. Iris is the goddess of her namesake. Iris translates to rainbow in Greek. She is the goddess wait of a minute, wait a rainbows. Minute, wait, a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rainbows. It's like, Ooh, uh, also, we figured out a loophole. Put that shit back on there. Those are titties on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It uh, 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 feels like feels like science uh, moved along real fast. Science Normally, hasn't picked an answer yet, but but we've got three answers here that we need to do. Okay. Should, I, yeah, yeah, should yeah. I give this to the science machine? Oh, oh please, please. You should give it to the science machine. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. It's determining the answer. Oh, yeah, science yeah. machine. Science a little bit. Yeah. a little bit tired to die. <laughs> no, I think I think it's uh, battery power. Activated. Oh, wow. Boop 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 boop. Same ding, system ding. that Facebook uses. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, it's having a hard time. Yeah, yeah. It's ding, hard ding, rebooting. Ding. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, Justin's answer of nature is correct. Hey! Hey! Oh, double. Yeah, complete. come on. Rainbow. Rainbows are nature. Yeah. They're also God's promise that, okay, I flooded you once, but uh, probably never again. I don't know. <laughs> probably. I would argue, like, what do you, you know, you couldn't look at rainbows without your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they are an optical the point. illusion. Yeah. Actually, uh, they are beautiful. Science denier. And nature. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nature is clearly not beautiful. No. Uh, <laughs> we are science deniers. All right, there we go. Uh, that's two down. Uh, Brett, before we go to our... Uh, second, third. Uh, what's our score so far? Well, there seems to be a trend as usual. <laughs> uh, uh, Chris, welcome to the show. You've got one point. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Justin. Yeah. Good to see you. You got hey. one point. Oh, Pleasure, sir. Hey. Pleasure. Hey, you, man. Hey, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cat now. He's a sneaky cat. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking get on it because you have no points. <laughs> yeah, well. All right, there we I go. I promise. <laughs> All right, we've still got four more topics here. I think we are looking for Justin to pick a topic. Uh, podcaster never forgets. Podcaster never forgets. Here on News Six. I know, I, I know I screamed it. It's fine. <laughs> News Six. It's all. It people says. make. People might have forgotten what the name of the segment was. <laughs> they might have forgotten. All yeah. right. Oh, this is a fun one. Uh, this is uh, from our friends over at BBC and Reuters in uh, Odisha, India. Good friends. <laughs> in Odisha, India, the land of snakes oh. and honey, a, ba oh. a baby Asiatic oh. elephant broke away from its herd and fell into a pit. Oh. Oh, poor baby. Officials used an excavator to dig a passageway to free the little fella. So he's all good now. Everybody's good. Question. On this segment, in August, I had a question. 
God damn it. About runaway elephants on a 300 mile tour of which country? You're going to guess in round until the correct answer is decided. <laughs> I, the best thing is that Chris, being on this show for the first time ever, has an equal opportunity to get this question <laughs> because Brian and I fucking don't remember anything In about fact, anything that happens on this show. J-Man, you got a pretty good chance as well. You were not. This is the episode you were not on. Oh, no. <laughs> so this is really just Brian who was there for the episode. Yeah. I was gone for this episode. <laughs> no. This is Chris's first appearance. Uh, bad news, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, we're, all, we're all just uh, rolling dice. Well, uh, Brian, we're going to, or sorry, Justin, we're going to start with you. What country do you believe uh, uh, the story from, from last time? This is not about this week. This one obviously was in India. Uh, uh, where did those Asiatic elephants escape last time? South Africa. He's going to say South Africa. All right. Chris? That was my answer. Mm. There's not like a North Africa either. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, there's Egypt and Chad. Oh, that's and, a good one. And, yeah, I don't yeah. want to take that. Like West it, Africa. It, you yeah. Know, yeah, I'll go. With, I'll go with the. I'll go with Wakanda. Egypt. 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 Wakanda. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Egypt is incorrect. Brian. Uh, look, snake recognized snake. It's <laughs> India. I think he said he was incorrect. incorrect. Oh, oh. He legitimately <laughs> guess, though, said the but... only thing that it definitely wasn't was He said it twice, and so like a negative times a negative equals a positive. <laughs> you thought it was but definitely the answer. Sure. Fucking, you're telling me Bryce wouldn't try that stuff? <laughs> I, I don't fool that. I... Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, we're going to do one more round of guessing since nobody got it quite right. Uh, just, do we have to? <laughs> just very just like, oh, no, I got like, it. I got it. Very in geography. geography. Rapid yeah. Fire. Okay. Oh, uh, Canada. <laughs> incorrect. Uh... London, England. <laughs> Incorrect. I was like, shit, that's that's a city. I don't think the Asiatic <laughs> elephant. I don't think the Asian, Asian the Asian elephants have been in Africa or Europe. Oh, that's a Could hit. A zoo. That's a hit. Uh, mm. uh, show me China. Show me China. Bam. Oh, oh, that's all there is to. Well earned. Well, there you go. he remembered something from about eight weeks ago. <laughs> That's actually worth applauding for. That's That's fantastic. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hey, we got an even game here. I'm going to stand behind my snake recognized snake claim. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, we got three more topics here. We've got uh, about face, too slick, and please don't assassinate me. Mm, please don't assassinate me. All right, I'll do that. Please don't assassinate me here on you six. The news at six. I love how committed to the uh, the, the, intro. Full, the full intro, the full we intro. Are. Yeah. I love yeah. how committed no, we, to We're just going to marinate in it. This, this week, nearly 12 million documents were released in a cache known as the Pandora Papers. The document detail set uh, uh, the document details secret offshore finances of the wealthy and the elite, especially in Europe and the Middle East. This includes secret real estate deals, involvement in corruption, and money siphoning, as well as hidden conflicts of interest. There might be more to discover, but... Remember how long we heard about the Panama Papers? Mm -hmm. Not very long. All of those people got killed. Question. <laughs> 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 Fucking dropping truth bombs wow. over here. Jesus. Ouch. Fucking, not a, uh, not a joke. Go look it up. A lot of journalists are gone. All right. Question. Will Glazer. <laughs> Cool. I'm sorry. Uh, question: Will Glazer, John Kraft? Welcome to informationbattles.com. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. How about horrifying things told quick? Yeah. The new TikTok channel of Bryce Castillo. <laughs> <laughs> Will Glazer, John Kraft, and Tim Westergren originally founded a music streaming service Pandora as Savage Beast Technologies, and was inspired to categorize music by traits and attributes, not just genres. In what year was that company founded? We're going to start with Chris on this one. Chris, what year was that company founded? 2003. He's going to say 2003. Brian. 2002. He's going to say 2002. Justin. 1997. <laughs> 1997. Oh. Or before even mp3.com was founded. <laughs> yep. he, he hesitantly revealed that he knows... Whatever. Okay. All right. Uh, Chris, your answer of 2003 is... Loser. Not the closest L one. L loser. Damn it. Justin, your answer of 1997 is... <laughs> Incorrect. That's a Brian oh. Point. January 2000. Woo! With Savage Beast Technologies. There we go. 
These motherfuckers, they were like up all night saying like, please no Y2K, please no Y2K. <laughs> Next day, founded Pandora. Exactly. They're like, bro, swear to God, if there's no Y2K, World's gonna we're going to we're, 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 we're we're form a company, bro. We're no. going to form a company. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Next, you're going to tell me we're going to uh, create musical DNA and sort everything according you're to the You're blowing genre. my mind, bro. I swear what? to God. Wait. So I mean, if we don't die tonight, hold on, let me do some blow. Hephaestus <laughs> 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 is here. <laughs> Shit, now it's ending faster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. That's uh, that's uh, the uh, that's a point for Brian. There we go. Uh, All right, Brian, we only got two topics left. We've got about face and two slick. I agree, Bryce. We should check in on the scores. Brett, what are the scores? <laughs> well. Brian. <laughs> hey, Chris. Still got one point. <laughs> yep. Justin, you oh. have one point. Oh. Brian, I mean, wow. You snake in the grass. You got two points. That's oh. super. Super. <laughs> I wondered why he cut me off to do that. Yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> wonder why. <laughs> All right. Two more topics left. We're going to go to Brian on this one. About face or too slick. Uh, Let's go too slick. Too slick now here on News 6. Freestyle over a new song. You can't do it. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> that was just a warning <laughs> for those that <laughs> might it try. Was, it was a PSA. It. Uh, no, it was a warning God, for uh, to let him win. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to hear the song. We don't have to hear the Billy Joel song, yeah. <laughs> All right. This is uh, from our friends over at the Huffington Post. Over the weekend, the California city of Huffington Beach closed its beaches after a report of a major oil spill at a Houston-based Amplify Energy uh, offshore oil well. It is estimated 126,000 gallons of crude oil have leaked, about one-fifth of the volume of an Olympic-sized pool. Question. America's first commercial oil well is the Drake Oil Well in Pennsylvania. In what year was it drilled? The closest will win the point. We are going to start with Brian on this one. Uh, fun fact, uh, I, I grew up in Huntington Beach, so um, there. Uh, no, sorry. I, I, <laughs> no, so, so I, I, was, I was really bummed to, to read this story because I, I uh, have fond memories of swimming on those beaches. Um, uh, 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 thoughts and prayers. Uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. there we go. Let's all take a moment of silence <laughs> okay. for Brian remembering when he swam in Huntington Beach. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to say... I. I uh, I, I remember peak oil scares happening as early as the early 1800s. So I'm going to say that the first well drilled in America. You say that like you were there. Uh, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> oh, man. I remember back in the I, I, I never won. He never <laughs> said when he grew up in Huntington Beach. <laughs> we used to gather around the campfire and tell legends. Uh, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm just going to say 1776. He's going to say seven, okay, 1776. Wow. Yep. Yeah. There we go. That's when we declared our energy independence so from England. <laughs> did did you and Mike TV were you hanging out during that <laughs> yeah, time? Yes, Is that? exactly. Okay. <laughs> we, were, immortal. we were sharing some some uh, a quarter pint. Justin, what year was the Drake oil well drilled? The Drake oil well was drilled in <laughs> eight. No, eighteen. Oh. Oh, damn. 1805. There we go. All right, damn, Chris. Damn, we went there, people. Know much about oil wells? The controversial oh, yeah. year of 1805. <laughs> I'm really more modern oil wells, so this is like tough. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't, uh, you don't do the vintage yeah, yeah, models. Yeah, yeah. You're really more with the newfangled shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 1820. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, two. <laughs> All right, there we go. Our so we had seventeen seventy six, eighteen oh five, and eighteen twenty two. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Brian, your answer of seventeen seventy six is poggers. Oh no, it's not poggers, but it is <laughs> incorrect. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, let's see here, Chris. Your answer of eighteen twenty two is. Is that good? Correct. <laughs> yeah. But it's the closest. Uh, we were looking for 1859, okay. the Drake well. 1859. So uh, if, if anybody doesn't have a wonderful beloved relative or somebody who just forwards you random stuff, um, uh, for a while I didn't have that in my life because I don't do Facebook. 
But uh, but uh, I do have somebody like that now, and he sent me a picture. It, again, one of those forwardable memes that uh, it's just a photo of the A1 steak sauce logo that says uh, uh, created in 1863, and then the tag on top says. So in the middle of the Civil War, somebody <laughs> thought, "Fuck, we need a delicious steak sauce." <laughs> Exactly. The Civil War starts and someone's like, this tastes like shit. Can somebody give me a sauce? This is fucking awful. Can I get some tapatio? Oh, like, this Jesus. tastes like shit. We should sell this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking raisins in that garden. Yeah. This tastes like shoe polish. And we, I think he's got something yeah. in it. Shoe polish Joe is like, I'll buy it. <laughs> We did it, Joe. <laughs> Joe, when did you first take that first dip into drinking shoe polish? Well, my mother always told me one sip and I'd be hooked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but she so she warned you and then she you did, and yeah. then I did it anyway, which is fucked up because she named me Shoe Polish Joe. <laughs> so I've got issues. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I want to do an hour with shoe polish. Well, you know, no. I'm but maybe you know me by my given name, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Shocking turn. Shoe polish Joe is Abraham Lincoln. Oh, the American years. history is I got explained. so wicked high, I freed the slave. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. It was a crazy thought. I think sober people could imagine the emancipation. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Right, I, I think I heard that, that in a notorious POG song. God damn it. <laughs> All right, last question here, Justin. I'm going to need you to pick about face for me. Uh, yes, I will do that for you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Perfect choice. Our last topic here on News 6, the news at 6. On Monday, Facebook. Oh, A1 was from England. What? Oh, so that's people are even saying worse. In the chat room. Sitting over there eating their popcorn like, look at these dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> Let's yeah. make a steak sauce. <laughs> They're probably talking about how much they like their queen. <laughs> <laughs> the two things English people love. Yeah, the queen and popcorn. About snakes a king snakes and time. queens or kings. I don't know, man. Whatever. They had a queen too, right? Well, I guess, yeah, they usually come in pairs. Yeah. yeah. Although, no, no, the queen didn't have a king. The one, the queen that's there now, like they just oh, yeah. had a guy. Uh, he wasn't a king. Correct. But, yeah. but usually, England if there's had a king, kings, there is a usually queen. married and has a queen. Has a queen. Yeah. So you're probably thinking about her. Let's go to Chris for a fact checking. This just tracks. Right? Uh, again, I said uh, only modern oil history. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, uh. All right. On Monday, Facebook and its sister sites went down for approximately six hours. Uh, listeners of the Great Night podcast found out about that about an hour ago. Uh, the <laughs> simplest explanation seems to be that a configuration file error snowballed into a DNS error, making it look like Facebook had lost mm. even the, the rights to their .com, uh, and then they fixed it. Question. How many people use Facebook? Uh, to be more exact, how many monthly active users did Facebook report having in the second quarter of 2021? Closest without going over, we'll get the point. So we're looking for uh, the closest without going over. We're going to start with... Oh, and also this is our five-point round. Just uh, God damn it. So everybody's got a chance here. Uh, we're going to start with uh, Justin, since you so are... So this is only Facebook, not Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp and everything. Correct. So just old FB. Uh, I am pretty the old sure. The old like and poke. Joe, only F boys. Only the F. <laughs> only the F boys and girls. Oh, you know what? Uh, 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 I'm gonna say this might have accounts from all of them. From all Just of them. The umbrella. Uh, yeah. The umbrella. Of all of them, and what what was the qualification? Uniques or uh, just monthly total? active users? Oh Jesus! As of a uh, uh, quarter to twenty. So this is an insanely inflated stat. Uh. <laughs> Monthly active users, I will put at 2.69 billion. He's going to say 2.69 billion. All right. Nice. Uh, let's see here. It's uh, Chris, I believe, next. Chris, what do you think? 1.7. 1.7 billion. Billion. Okay. Billion. billion. Brian, just not, not, one point yeah. seven million. <laughs> okay, <laughs> or one point seven people. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy and his friend, who's yeah. kind of on it. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, 
okay, bad news, bro. One of y'all is going to get one dollared, uh, but I can't decide which one. <laughs> you think they're both over? Uh, no. Or I under? think they're both under. We're uh, both at under. least and one he, of you is under. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely more than the 1.7 that you're 1.69. Uh, or two, two point six. Wait, what, what did they say? One point seven and two point six nine. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna say one point eight. I'm really sorry, Chris. I'm really hoping it's one point. Sorry. Brian's gonna say one point eight. All right, we have a winner of our game. This is for five points. Can it, yeah, can I get a little drum roll here? As of June 30th, 2021, Facebook's, uh, Facebook reported a monthly active user count of 2.9 billion. Oh! Oh! Yeah, baby! Congratulations to Justin for getting seven points in our game. Mm. Or no, excuse me, six points six in our points. game. Does that mean Chris and I have to do a duet? Wait, what is <laughs> yeah, what is the score, Brett? What are... Well, like maybe we Justin. could trade verses or something. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Way to pull it out there. There you are. Six points for Justin. Perfect show. Hey, uh, <laughs> Chris and Brian. Yeah. You both got two points. Man, we're tied. I think we have to do a duet. All right, let's. All right, okay, wait, wait, we'll wait till the end of the show. Who knows what worse. might happen with, yeah, with no. more people? Yeah, because because we have to have more show right before you recap the entire show. We, okay. have, we have to finish. Let's the make show. it interesting. I, I think what should happen is Brian, you'll remember everything up till now, <laughs> and Chris, you can just remember everything. Till the end. Chris, yeah. Chris like force feeds us like nothing but autobiographical <laughs> stuff for the rest of the yeah. show. I'll Mo sing the uh the just the chorus. chorus. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'll cover he that. Can do, you he, get the can, rest. he can do all the parts about modern oil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to modern oil. It's yeah. tough. <laughs> Deep water horizon blew up back in <laughs> early aughts. Everybody watching it on the web. Yeah, Digging okay. for some shale. <laughs> why, why are you writing the verses for right, him, man? Exactly. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh, all right, uh, uh, Bryce, thank you so much for the game. Ladies and gentlemen, always. Bryce Neska, 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 uh, B.O.G. Thank you. Hey, uh, Friday, this Friday uh, is our last Marbles summer training. So tune in if you want to play Marbles and get ready because we're getting ready for season two in a couple weeks. So tune in here on twitch.tv slash night attack. Thank you. Hells yeah. Uh, Chris, uh, what, what do you want most to talk about? Right now in the world. Yeah. This is oh, how normal yeah. night, this is <laughs> night it. talk shows yeah. go. Is, we just is, say go. What's your what's your idea for a show? <laughs> uh I'm talking about oil a lot. So. Oil, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. Actually, I, I have a comedy related question. Uh, uh, -huh. uh have you indulged in the deluge of recommended Norm McDonald videos that I happened? have. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I would love to hear your perspective on what that's been like to to look back on on his story. I mean, I always liked Norm Macdonald. Uh, There's a lot of it now, though. It, it, it has caught the slipstream of the YouTube algorithm. Well, I'm algorithm. caught up in just like, yeah, it's like every other video now is like Norm Macdonald. And it just like, it, it, it autoplays. So I'm like, oh, Norm's back on. <laughs> which, is, which is also weird because he had two video podcast series for which like the uh, a vast majority of the stuff that's not SNL is from those two things. And yet they're not the things getting recommended. It's always compilations of stuff that happened from those shows. Yeah. Did uh did you see the SNL tribute to him? I I didn't. I did. I, yeah. I was actually. I and this well, was a moment. I hovered over it and I was like, I don't think I'm prepared for this, and and well, I didn't look at it. Well, I don't know. I only saw it unless it was it was during the weekend update where they like played oh, some of his clips. Correct. Correct. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. They had a like, great snake joke. Or he had a great snake joke in it. Did, did he? Yeah, he did actually. Can, can you, can you, can you? Oh, I couldn't. I, I, oh, okay. All right. I don't, but it's, it's about a guy who climbs a building named the snake man. <laughs> and he's like, you know how snakes are known for climbing buildings. <laughs> <laughs> but he did it way better. Uh, so, so who, who are your comedy heroes? And are they dead? Mm. <laughs> like Norm? <laughs> the good one. We're, we're, we're you know. channeling Norm. Yeah. <laughs> the spirit of Norm. Um, uh, good ones are dead. Uh, which means you get to talk about them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna, if we're gonna do like like top five, we're we're assembling like imagine Space Jam, but with dead comedians. It's our starting <laughs> five. 
our I mean, starting five of dead did, comedians. Did, uh, question uh, for for the jury: uh, yeah. do, do we get to count canceled comedians as dead? Not yet. Okay, not, they can not come yet. off the bench. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put them the on your team if I, if you're picking us. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah probably team. not. Exactly. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, so space unless unless you want all the children to boo in theaters well, across the you world. You might. You could do like the bad, like the, the what are they called? The monsters. The <laughs> monsters. Yeah. 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 <laughs> could be all the canceled comedians. All right. Uh, so I'm saying, uh, uh, what? Prior. Prior goes on the Space Jam team. Yeah. Uh, uh, certainly Carlin. Carlin. Norm, I mean, as Norm, Norm, does Norm, Norm make it? I, I think Norm is. He's a bubble. I, I, I think we're all processing just how good he was, and I think that that all of the force-fed videos. If he's ever going to go right. on, he's either going to go on forever, or he's going to only go on now. So let's let's just go ahead and <laughs> yeah, put, him, put on him on. Now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Until until we kick him off. All right. Well, uh, who else you got, Chris? Um. What do you think Richard Jenny? Wow. Trying to think of dead comedians nice that weren't pull. that good. He was yeah. very good. Milton yeah. Burl. <laughs> he could uh, be the Batman. I think of just of just dead comedians. Dead. Uh, yeah. We're, that, we're talking stand comedian? Ups, right. We're talking like, not like comedic actors. That yeah. Died in like 2004. That only had like one album. Mitch Hedberg. Mitch Hedberg. Ooh. Oh, or or yeah. or or. or uh, oh, Mitch is a great. Uh, yeah. Mitch Bill, is what's his name? Well, we're Bill Hicks. Yeah. Bill we're Hicks. we're in Austin, so yeah. like you know, uh, 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 Bill Hicks. Bill Hicks would go on there because they, they're they're in the kind of same category as. Um, yeah. Oh uh, shit, uh, Bill uh, Hartman. But he wasn't a stand-up. Uh, it, that, it's it's an all-star. Too, you know they. Oh, wait, Michael well, Jordan played baseball and basketball. <laughs> oh, good point. Because if, if we're doing everybody, then then that's that's a much bigger that's a much bigger list, right? So I would say Sam Kinison is another uh, oh, a legendary wow. dead stand up. Yeah. Uh, what what about um, uh, did did um, uh, I can't. No, I got nothing. Yeah, Don Rickles. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Robin Williams Holy is on the team. Oh yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Robin on, Williams man. is on the team. So I think we need one more. We need, we need, we need one more. Just, we're, we're, they we're all have to be dead or dead. Mm. Dead is as a doornail. De dead is sometimes dead is better. Sometimes when you're making the Space Jam team of dead stand-up. <laughs> the soil of a man's heart is stony or <laughs> Sometimes dead is better. Uh oh shit. Uh Tony Clifton slash. Mm, I don't know, man. Yeah, no, he's a stand-up. Yeah, I would put I would put a uh, uh, Andy, uh, Andy, Andy Kaufman. Kaufman. Kaufman Andy yeah. Kaufman. Yeah, there we go. Okay, all I, right. I we think we got our starting five. Now, who sings the uh, "I Believe I Can Fly" esque ballad <laughs> for our Space Jam of dead comedians? Uh, wait, it's got to be a comedian singing. No, no, this could be any singer, but they should probably be dead. <laughs> they should probably be dead. <laughs> yeah. uh, um. Uh, Dead singers. Whitney Houston? Yeah, no, oh, no, I, I don't like this oh, bit. No, uh, why you, that's a part of life, Brian. Like, <laughs> okay, this okay, bit doesn't sing about hell. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, 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 <laughs> the big bopper. <laughs> the big bopper. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, baby. I believe I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> but well, now you are dead. You used to do stand up, but now you don't because you're dead. You got put on the team, and now you're facing the monsters. That's what you're doing. We are singing a song. See, he oh, should have. That's what I like. You should have lost because you're the one, right? <laughs> I'm the bog bopper. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, baby. <laughs> God damn it. We're not going to stop that. We have to change topics. <laughs> um, oh, so uh, uh, we, we bonded in the pre-show over Heroes of Might and Magic 3, uh, the best uh, real-time strategy game. That well, it wasn't real-time. It was turn-based. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, wait. Sorry. Yeah. No, turn-based strategy turn -based. game. Turn-based. Wow. Uh, Big fan. By the way, yeah, Big I'm fan. looking at you, all incarnations of civilization. Get bent. Uh, Heroes <laughs> of Might and Magic is the real, is the real go. Yeah. And it's, everyone's like, oh, Civ, Civ, Civ. And I'm like, Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Yeah. Uh, 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 so, so I, I actually threatened to do this, and now I'm going to do it. Uh, did you ever play uh, King's Bounty: The Legend? Uh, that that was the I game did. that Heroes of Might and Magic was based on, and then I they did. revived it. I played like all those old, like turn-based RPGs. Uh, on wh the wh uh, which one is the the goat? The what? 
Greatest of all time. Oh, well, I was Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Yeah. It was for me, at least. Yep, same. Yeah, yeah. Same. But I don't know. I'm probably people have different opinions, but, you know, it's the internet. They always have different opinions. Yeah. That's, you should see us try to make an oil, Derek. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, well, so, so what, what, uh, what are you most passionate about? That uh, besides uh, heroes of might and magic and oil, <laughs> um, yeah. these are these are the number <laughs> one and two things in this man's life. Yeah, pretty much tipped uh, tipped on him. So like, yeah, I mean, I assume I he mean, likes coffee too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I like writing and directing and making content and make making. Oh yeah, making uh, shit. So you know? this is not a, a, a thing that you had put in in the email that, that you wanted to talk about, but it was all over your Twitter. Uh, this new series that you did that was like a, a Survivor meets Among Us thing looked insane. Oh yeah, yeah. So that uh, just finished airing um, on Roosterteeth.com. First episode's on YouTube. It's called. Can you can you just explain the premise yeah. for folks who hadn't heard about uh, it? It's called Camp Betrayal. It's basically uh, I describe it as like if you took Among Us. Um, and mixed it with Survivor, but had it take place at like a horror film uh, or uh, like in a horror movie. This is uh, scripted or uh, no, or? no, is it, it like a reality show? Oh, like, for real? Yeah, yeah. Oh like, shit! No, no, no. Yeah, no. They oh, did. Shit. They I just totally, did stuff. I, I totally. I, I watched the full preview and I totally thought, oh, this, this. Uh, I, 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 I assumed incorrectly. It turns out that this was a send up of 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 Survivor, but this is so much better knowing that it was actually done. Yeah, yeah. It was like our first big production out of COVID where um, we got everyone back together. And it was like, yeah, it was just like, I basically coming up with like all these different, every, every episode is a different game where people are having to like lie and betray each other and trying to figure out who's, who's you know, on their team and who isn't. And uh, it was- so, so they all think they're playing the same thing, but half the team is actively trying, trying to, to fuck it up. And the yeah. other ones are trying to find out who the, the saboteurs are. Yeah. And then it's like, in every episode is kind of like focused on a different genre of horror movies. So like the first one's very much like slasher. Like they're basically, it's like, here's a, a horror movie scene. They have to like re find a bunch of body parts and then reassemble them as a team. That's the but stated task. That's the first episode. Right. But then like people are like fucking chunk, chunking body parts whenever no one's looking or pulling them apart, you know, and like hiding them and. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, uh, 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 Justin and I have friends who, uh, uh, like we've, we've both dipped a toe into reality programming. Um, that, that scene could get a bit contentious where there are surprises that I imagine were difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, um, we filmed all of it over like three nights and I, you know, and, and that, that is a quick shoot. Oh yeah. It was real quick. That, yeah. But not a lot of room for, for any kind of error. And, uh, yeah. I mean, people, but people got like. There's some pretty contentious episodes where people were like, I mean, it's it's all about lying and betraying each other. So, uh, and it was I was just directing it, so it was like fun to watch people like <laughs> go into it. Yeah, well, that that was my question: is is are you are you like I'm nom 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 giddy or are you like oh dear? No uh, no no! I was like oh please let them go at each other <laughs> as much as possible. Yeah, you have to yeah, he's, he's, yeah. yeah he's, he's, like, he's directing. Gotta, he I needs have, the chaos. I have to design games that are going to enable people to mess with each other as much as possible. Like that was the whole thing is like, how, how can people fuck with each other? Uh, dude, uh, like for three days, you straight up got to play God and make everybody's <laughs> life miserable. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, is, is, uh, was it, was there one favorite moment that you have or one surprise that you're like, well, even I didn't see that coming. Oh, uh, favorite. I mean, or least favorite. I'll take either. Because I'm a snake. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was only one sleeping. So it's like hey, it's hard to remember things. Uh, <laughs> Much man, like lyrics. <laughs> I, there was this there's this whole storyline. Like is the host uh was this kind of like a knockoff of the Baba Duke. This guy named uh Eric Bador. So I named oh, him yeah, yeah. I named him the the Baba Duke uh <laughs> Babadour. Uh um but this whole like storyline developed where like he was going to eat dirt like and i don't know how it happened and I, it became like the the running thread of the whole series was that this character was going to that they were going to make him eat dirt they were going like, to make it was him like eat he dirt. didn't want to eat dirt but he was going to have to but eat dirt but they were dirt. like we're going to make you eat dirt one day yeah. and i don't know how that became a thing or like even what the premise like who was like I, it just became a thing <laughs> but, but the, that, like, that, that's well, one of those things in in that tight schedule that if enough people start saying 
when we win, you're going to eat dirt. At the end, that motherfucker's got to eat some dirt. I mean, I'm not going to spoil anything. Don't, don't spoil. Okay. All, right. Don't all spoil. right, all right, all right. But let's just say it's Chekhov's dirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, and, and of course, the best way to see it, I I, I think I read that the first episode first was free. First episode's free on uh, YouTube, uh, Rushdie thought, uh or just on roosterteeth.com, first episode's free. And then the first, and then you get a free trial and watch all of it at once. So, all right, yeah, man. There you get go. on top of it. I mean, are you sure you don't just want to talk all night long and not get to the end of the show where we have to stay? <laughs> I would we love didn't to start do the that. Oh, man, we're out of time. Oh, oh no. no. Well, Wait we a minute. God damn it. I think that that's my cue to leave the stage god damn it god. all right i'll take here we go <laughs> ladies and gentlemen uh, recap chris and brian recapping the show we till we, we didn't start the fire started off talking about snakes in the grass made no sense then makes less sense now then some freezers came or didn't come then they said what about yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> then we introduced Chris. He was awesome. Then we played a game that was totally rigged. Then I talked about oils that were also rigged. <laughs> oh, shit. That was good. God damn it. <laughs> but they were more. <laughs> The oil rigs, they were modern, they were old-fashioned ones, like the ones that were made close to 1776. Then there were some jokes about sauce that may or may not have been made in the USA. <laughs> but it was that we didn't start the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have put the karaoke on screen. <laughs> Uh, Jeez. Uh, anyway, right. it was uh, still a great night. We love you guys. Thank Wait you so much. Hold on. You guys only up. made it one. Oh, dude, we were very efficient. One yeah, you yeah. should have been here. We were like a modern day oil rig. It was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 Brett, what did we learn tonight? Well, fellas, we learned that uh, some people just can't write lyrics. Uh, we've learned that uh, that uh, Chris is great when it comes to oil, and we should learn much from him. And uh, Justin is a points hog. That's what we know. <laughs> Uh, uh, one more time, uh, Chris Damaris from Thank you so uh, Rooster much for coming Teeth. Out, man. Of course, uh, 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 open invite anytime. We would love to see you this again. Is, this is a blast. Uh, congratulations on everything. I'm going to be joining you guys in hell. Uh, uh, Justin. Yes. Uh, well, yeah. Th there we go. Good morning from hell. Yep. Uh, Tales from the Stinky Dragon. 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 Yep. Uh, and Black then, box. Black box. Yeah. Yes. Of, of course. I forgot the one. The, the, one the about sad one. <laughs> crippling, horrifying. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Know. Disasters. The sad one. That <laughs> shake the uh, earth to its core. Uh, 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 thank you again one more time. Brian, still a great night, buddy. Try not your crazy diamonds. Shine on. <laughs> no, that was too far. You keep me alive. You help me survive. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>